All right, today I'm going to be putting my own blood in the vacuum chamber to see what happens to human blood in a vacuum. For some reason, I've seen this floating around the internet that your blood is actually blue, but when it's exposed to oxygen that it turns red. So why don't we test that myth along with the myth of will your blood boil in space and put it in the vacuum chamber. And I want to remind everyone, never try to draw your own blood. I am using professional medical equipment and a medical professional to do this, so don't try to draw your own blood, please. Okay, there's where my blood was drawn. Here's where the band-aid was. Ripping the band-aid off hurt more than getting my blood drawn. <laughs> Okay, so these containers, they do have an anticoagulant in it, so it should be a good representation of blood that's still in the veins because it won't coagulate. Okay, testing my own blood in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. At about half an atmosphere. Point two atmospheres. I don't see the blood boiling yet. Okay, we're at 0.1 atmospheres. Huh, it's not boiling. I thought it would start boiling by now. So we're at my maximum vacuum here, and it doesn't look like it's boiling yet. So at this pressure, if there were water in there, the water would definitely be boiling. But it looks like the red blood cells in the plasma keep it to a low enough boiling point that even at my full vacuum here, it's not boiling. Interesting, I thought for sure it would boil. Okay, I've been going for about five minutes now, and it's still not boiling. This pretty much confirms that human blood does not boil in a vacuum, interesting. So this actually surprised me. I didn't think there would be a change of color. It's not a blue color, but it is actually a darker red color. So I looked it up. So deoxygenated blood is actually a dark red like this. Okay, let's let the air back in slowly. So it looks like your blood's not going to boil in space because as the temperature drops, it actually gets thicker it seems like, and so the thicker it is, the harder it is to boil. So no matter what, your blood's not going to boil. But the other thing is, is that the blood is contained in your skin, and it's actually a pretty tight elastic skin covering that you have, and so the pressure isn't going to decrease too much in your veins, so it won't get to the point of boiling most likely in your body. It'll suck the blood out through your skin that you saw when I stuck my arm in the vacuum chamber, but your blood's not gonna start boiling within your veins. And even outside of your body, it's probably not gonna boil either because as the temperature decreased, it got a lot thicker. It had to stay really warm to stay thin enough to boil. So that's pretty interesting. And especially, no, your blood is not blue, of course. The reason it looks blue is because it has to go through layers of skin which block certain wavelengths of light and so only the blue escapes your skin. So that's why it looks blue. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe 
and comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next time, and I'll see you next time.